What's up everyone, Kuru here, and this is the review of the 2023 B-Core 95. And spoiler alert, I absolutely love this frame, so much so that this is going to become my new daily driver. So let's find out why. All right, so if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that the previous generation of the V-Core 95, I believe 2021 was the release year, um, it's been my daily driver uh, for most of the last two years. Obviously, because of the channel, I try different rackets. I, you know, I use different rackets for short periods of time uh, for reviews or just to try them out, really. But I always come back to the V-Core 95. It's just a frame that I really love. Uh, it really suits my game. And honestly, as a guy who's been using Yonex for a long time now, it's just hard to switch from Yonex. From, I, you get used to the shape, you get used to uh, the grip length being a little bit longer. It's just really difficult to, to move away uh, from Yonex. So just about this frame here real quick, I know a lot of people are gonna ask, uh, why is it all red, which is really cool. Um, this is what they send to pros before the final paint job is released. So they can practice before the final paint job is released, so there's no leaks. Uh, it's basically just like a camouflage to the racket. So yes, I've been playing with this racket for about two months now. Uh, so a long time to, to really get to know it and, and get the feel for it. I have it customized a little bit with a bit of weight here in the head, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. And my string setup has been mostly a hybrid between natural gut and poly. But for the last couple of weeks, I've been stringing it uh, with full poly. I know most of you will be using a setup like that. Um, so I wanted to like really get a feel for it with a full poly bed um, here. So let's take a look at what's new. Uh, first, it's paint job. Uh, obviously, it's not this one. <laughs> it's the actual one that they're selling in the stores, which I think it's miles better. Uh, if there was one thing I didn't like about the previous generation 95 was that the paint job all red with a little bit of blue there. Just, I didn't like it. So I think this new paint job is much better. I don't love it. I still think it's a little bit all over the place, but in person it looks pretty good. And when you see someone playing with it, like from far away, it's just like that, that look from far away. You're like, oh, that's, that's nice. The second thing is the shape. And this is a big deal. Yonex redesigned the shape of the 95 widening the upper hoop of the racket, which creates this feeling of having a larger hitting zone. At first glance, it honestly doesn't look like a 95 square inch racket. It actually looks uh, bigger than what it is. And this redesign is supposed to make the racket more stable and more forgiving. And I can vouch for that. It actually feels a lot more stable than the previous, previous generation. And personally, I really love this new shape. Uh, I think it's way better than the previous generation and the one even before, uh, the 2018 one. If, if you look at 2018 versus a, a 2023, uh, it's a completely different racket. Um, and I think this is this is the right shape uh, for uh, a V-Core 95. Now, string pattern. It is still a 1620, which I love. Not many manufacturers are doing that anymore. Uh, but 1620 is just like a perfect blend of like spin and power. I love it. But on the new 95 here, the squares are a little bit wider. Uh, so this racket is a tiny bit more powerful uh, and it also like creates a bit more spin than previous generations. So that's something to be aware of. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But yeah, definitely a little bit wider, especially right here uh, in the strike zone, right in the sweet spot. And the last thing is a lower beam stiffness from 64 on the previous generation to 61 on this one. It does feel a little bit softer, a little bit easier on the arm. It's not a major decrease, but it's there. Uh, I can feel it a little bit, uh, but nothing crazy. And before I continue the review, if you like this video, please smash that like button. It really helps us grow our audience. Uh, we're closing in to 100,000 subscribers, so we really wanna reach that mark really soon. So also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe. What are you doing not being subscribed? And if you're planning on buying one of these or any other rackets, any other tennis gear, we have links down below to Tennis Warehouse that really help the channel. Uh, so all those three things really help us. Uh, but let's go back to the review. But all marketing lingo aside, let's talk about my personal experience with this. It's been absolutely top-notch. I really love this frame. 
My favorite thing about this is the new head shape. Uh, it makes it for a much more compelling 95. Uh, even though I'm playing with a, a small head size for today's standards, uh, it doesn't feel like I'm giving up on forgiveness, on, on, on stability. So honestly, I think the wider hoop is just a much better shape for this racket. And comparing it to the previous VCore 95, the one that I played with uh, for the last couple of years, it is a more stable racket. It is a more forgiving racket. On my ground strokes, I'm definitely getting more power. Uh, I especially like it on my forehand side. I think the wider um, squares are giving me just a little bit more power, a little bit more spin uh, without feeling like I can have to force it. And this is also true on serves. This is by far my favorite racket for serving that I've ever played with. Uh, I'm serving really well with it. I feel like I'm just getting easy access to, to power here, uh, swinging at 80%, but feeling like I'm getting 100% of my power on the serve. So I'm, I've been serving bombs with this. I, I really have enjoyed this frame for serving. And everywhere else, this racket has been tremendous. Uh, it does what a Decor 95 needs to do, which is provide great feel in situations where you have to use your hands a little bit more, maybe come up with a slice or a drop shot. It just gives you great feel on the racket. And it just has that smaller head size of precision. I think a lot of people that gravitate towards the smaller head size just feel like those, those frames are a little bit more precise. Um, and this still does that as a, as a 95, even being a little bit wider, feeling like it's a little bit bigger, uh, but it still does what a 95 square inch racket needs to do. Now, usually this would be the part where I provide some cons, but really <laughs> I don't have many. So I'm gonna nitpick a little bit. Um, obviously the, the wider squares here on the string pattern does give you a little bit more flyers. Uh, in the beginning, you know, you kind of have to adjust a little bit with the launch angle of the ball. So you can be a bit more powerful. You can feel like the ball, your ball is flying a little bit more. But again, it's, you're gonna adjust to that, I think, pretty quickly. And just before the conclusion, I wanna quickly talk about how I've customized this racket. Um, just very quickly, if you want like maybe a full video on my custom customization of this, uh, let me know in the comments below. But basically I just added weight here at around like 11 to one, um, really at the top of the frame. That's not something I've ever done actually, uh, but, it's, but it's something I'm trying out. Marco suggested that just to help uh, with acceleration, especially on the forehand side and on the serve. And I've been really loving the frame. It is not like by any means like super head heavy, um, but it just helps with that like final part of the, the stroke accelerating through the ball uh, to get a little bit more help from the racket. Um, this right now total is 340 grams with string and, and dampener and everything. So not too heavy, um, right around what I was doing with the previous 95. All in all, I think this new VCore 95 is an absolute jam. I really love it. Uh, is it for everyone? I don't think so. I still think this is a racket uh, that is more aimed at advanced players, uh, players with better strokes that have full swings that are not really just guiding the ball. But I think given the redesigned beam and the lower stiffness, it makes this VCore 95 the most accessible VCore 95 to date. And my opinion is that you should really give it a try. And if you do, again, we have the links down below if you use them, it really helps the channel. And again, if you can like and subscribe this video if you found it helpful. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're gonna pick one of these bad boys up. Um, again, highly recommended. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.